Hey, what's up, crew? It's your boy Serrano. Today, I want to talk briefly about the Freetail Samurai Kiwami, a Japanese smartphone. Freetail is made by a Japanese phone manufacturer designing and releasing their own brand. Uh, the Samurai was a series that was part of an Android based phone, and Kiwami was one of the Freetail's flagship phones. Um, it was great for people who wanted a high-end and elegant Japanese design. It had a polished outside body design with high-quality metal edge bumper. It had an octa-core CPU, 3GB of RAM, 6-inch WQHD display. It had a dual SIM that recorded in 4K on the cameras and ran on Lollipop. It also did have a 21 megapixel rear camera that definitely had some really good 4K recording. So this thing had, uh, you know, like anti-shake and, you know, st image stabilization. It also had Corning Glass 3 and a 2560 by 1440 display. And you can see when you were actually using social media, sometimes there was a bit of a stutter, but for a phone that was released in 2015 and using it in 2019 i didn't have any issues whatsoever i mean it was refreshing just to use it again and it reminded me of the day when i actually first got it out of the box when i was really excited about using it um i definitely remember when i got it out of the box and that 2k display with the six inch display had barely any bezel from side to side and there was minimal chin and and forehead for the time which i only got one year ago and you can see the performance for the gaming was definitely pretty good and it held up really well and any game i threw at it worked perfectly fine so i could honestly say that when um this phone was released it was a a phone that you had to pay $345 to actually, uh, you know, get. But now if you go on, just type in www.walmart.com and then, you know, type in Freetel Samurai Kiwami. And what you're going to notice is that this phone is actually on there for about $89. And I actually paid uh, $99 for the Freetail Samurai Kiwami about a year ago. So the price value dropped about $10. But you can see like the value is really good for uh, a phone that came out in 2015. And the screen is just worth getting because the colors and everything just pop. And you can see like when you're playing um, any type of game or anything like that, the touch uh, responsiveness is really good. And the panel is just really um, vibrant. So you can see it was really responsive when I was playing this, um, you know, like spaceship game where you had to actually uh, target all of the uh, enemy spaceships. But you can see right here, we're going to go back to a more high graphic intensive game, which is the PUBG Mobile. And you can see right here, um, the graphics work perfectly fine. So it didn't matter that this phone was actually released in 2015. I was using it in 2019, which was, you know, like four years later. And a lot of people would say, well, you can't use a phone that's uh, running 5.1 Android. But I actually been using this device for the last uh, few weeks and I've definitely been enjoying the experience that I've been getting. It's really uh, stock Android and um, I actually downloaded this YouTube app, which let me um, get uh, picture in picture, which is a customized app. If you want to check it out, just check out my prior video about YouTube um, premium. But you can see right here, the colors were really bright and it did go up to 1440 because it was a 2K panel. But on this video, it's actually maxed out to 1080p. But um, anything that I was throwing at this device was really good. And it had a single firing speaker at the bottom, which actually had a speaker grill that was dual speakers, but one housed a microphone. But um, you can see that it is running 5.1 Lollipop. And even though it was running 5.1 Lollipop, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. So, um, you know, this phone is a classic Japanese design with this, uh, people who want to, um, you know, like take advantage of that overall, you know, like polished design of 
of high quality metal and you know that elegant japanese um you know you know product designed for you know japanese and everything like that you can see the wallpapers were just customized for you know like their culture and everything like that and you can see that the photos i took today with uh these these sneakers that i just got in the mail were actually really dope but i took a snapshot with my free toast and Kawami, and those photos came out really good so you know this thing did hold up over time and those lenses still take a really decent shot for a phone that's actually um you know like uh, dated for years but you can see that it did have a gesture system for like um i believe it was for the photos phone calls and other things like that but the overall design and build and overall quality of this device uh overall with that leather back that i've got to mention which actually resembles the one plus one was really dope with that metal and just reminded you of like a ninja uh, uh, kawami sword which is one of the most powerful samurai swords but you this is the freestyle samurai kawami after a full year i hope you guys enjoyed the video every single like helps the channel make sure you guys subscribe for more videos just like this it's your boy serrano and make sure you stay locked in for more videos and future videos just like this one if you uh like the video, make sure you hit the bell icon, show your support and appreciation, and I'll see you guys on the next video.